daily uh, meditation routine is really very, very helpful to get us centered. And right off the bat, uh, when you begin your day, it gives you a chance to just sink in and reconnect with yourself. Reconnect with the place that the real you is residing in. The real you, which is a master, which is the Buddha. It's in the center of yourself, is in your center. And the real you is the one who is the source of your existence. It's the source of your thoughts or your emotions. It's the observer, the seer, the one that sees things, the one that hears things, the one that things get measured in you, you're measuring things, all your ups and downs, gets measured to this part of yourself. So the real one is just here, like sitting like this, and it's not moving. There's no movements with the real you. So, and when we take our time, if you get in a t into a routine, uh, like a lot of people like to wake up in the morning and take 15 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes to meditate. And that meditation that you do, it centers you and puts you back in alignment with yourself. And as you get more skilled, then you begin to develop this understanding that your movements throughout the day, whatever you do, you, it comes from that place. So you can operate from that centeredness during the day rather than operating from a place of the mind. Because the mind is always in chaos and is in worries and, and all kinds of anxiety, gets involved with the story of life. But your center is not involved with the story of life. Your center is calm and quiet and collected. So there's a big difference when we're living our lives and operating from the chaos the mind, reactions, we're being reactionary, emotional about things, or when you operate from your center. And it's a, two, a world difference in between the two. And you can see how life is going to be responding to you, whether if you're operating from chaos, or you're operating from being centered. And you're, you're operating from a place that you're really centered, then the reaction of life is different to you. You get a different reaction. Things don't bother you and upset you. Or if something really drastic happens and you're staying in your center, very quickly this thing will evaporate. It will just dissolve. It will lose its uh, intensity. Something that before was really upsetting you, it would be a big deal, but you're staying in your center and you're operating from this place. Now that thing, that really blows up, no matter how intense it is, you're just indifferent to it. You're saying you're the master. And then all of a sudden, this huge thing crumbles down and disappears. It's like nothing. So, but that shift, you have to work on it on yourself. 
because of years of being conditioned to react to things and to take things very seriously taking them for their face value and reacting to them going into fear anxiety worry now you have to change it and in the beginning the mind is telling you what are you doing what are you doing if you don't panic about this nothing's going to happen but actually it's the way is the opposite is like the more you stay calm and quiet the quicker things going to dissolve and work out but initially you have to make that jump and and trust that this is the way so you have to kind of prove it to yourself you have to prove it to yourself by not not reacting to to it so let's say that in this non-reactionary way and this way of being again i'm not saying that there won't be any um movement or there won't be any kind of reactions at all it's not like you're sitting here like this all day long and you're not doing anything no you still move you still do things and you still react to things but your reaction is coming from a complete different place now let's say now that we're talking about this it's a good subject to talk about because majority of people on the planet is very much involved with the story the story whatever is the story whether it's the story of your life or the story of the world whether you're involved with the you're very much concerned about the politics and what's going on the politics in the u.s if you live in the u.s or if you're living in another country and you're very much involved with world economy um whatever whatever that really tickles your fancy and grabs your attention and gets you very excited uh whether it's a religious movement if it's a race um not, nationality you're really passionate about your nationality whatever it is whatever is your story what really moves you and something happens and emotion really strong emotion comes up for you and all of a sudden you're feeling very angry or all of a sudden you feel anxiety or you really afraid or all of a sudden something happen and you feel extreme jealousy and something rises in you and we have spoken about i shared with those of you who've been with me of how to stay in this place of the observer and observe it and not be attached or get involved feel what you're feeling and you acknowledge the presence of the emotion you know you feel you get up in the morning and something happens you get some news and you feel depressed and you feel a lot of fear and you simply stay with it and you acknowledge its presence of a strong emotion rising within you okay so we've talked about that and those of you who've been with me you heard me uh sharing with you how you look at it but now let's go even a little bit look at a different angle of this like this emotions are rising for you and you get very passionate about it 